Okay. What is in here? Hmm. Oh. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranith Anoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over. Or uh, worse. Can I please see her? You think the indoctrination nope. only affects prisoners? Ah, uh, this section later, is pretty bugged. Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. So unfortunately, we can't look at her while she's talking. All you, all you can look at is my shepherd's pretty face. <laughs> Why should I... What are you talking about? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. Here we go. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. Sovereign's effect? At least effect? that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. Hmm. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Ooh. What? See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Uh, Are we good? Can I go? See what I mean about it being buggy? It'll just show you a wall. It won't show you the actual person who's talking. <laughs> Tell me about your research. What were you studying here? Whoa. It's that ship, Sovereign. What are we both it looking at? It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's <laughs> we're, there. We're looking at the cue cards. I've seen the effects. Sovereign uses it to influence <laughs> his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. Yeah, we saw them. But there's collateral damage, too. S tell me about Sovereign Signal. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Huh. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. Huh. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Oh, okay. Tell me about the collateral damage. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. Huh. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Huh. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. All right, you're free to go. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! You enjoyed that, Commander. Maybe a little. She kind of deserved it, based on what she told me about helping Saren and the experiments. <laughs> but hey, maybe she'll actually get out of here alive. Who knows? So his private lab, huh? Let's find out more about this ship. The SSB Sovereign, or whatever. Let's find out what the deal is with this signal coming from from this ship. Makes you wonder, where did Saren find it? What the? Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Edenbrock. It is. It looks just like that beacon. I wonder. Could Shepard have another vision here? Uh. Whoa! Oh boy, here comes another vision. Oh boy. Liara, you might want to help me out here. <laughs> oh, it doesn't seem to be affecting him that much now. Oh, that's because he's got the Cypher now, so it actually doesn't... Looks like it's not hurting him or anything like it did before. Man. 
What a rush! As the, as the road warriors would say. Whoa! What the? <laughs> I appeared behind the beacon for some reason. Huh. Well, that was interesting. This is not what good. The... You are not Saren. It's the ship. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. Oh, man. I do not think this is a VI. I don't think so, either. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. This is one of the most epic conversations I think in video game history. This this mind-blowing moment here when you when you realize the real truth behind all this. This whole time we thought it was Saren uh, with the with the indoctrination controlling and everything and we thought Sovereign was just a ship. But as you just heard, Sovereign is not just a ship. It's a reaper. Just like the ones that Tally told us about. The ones that wiped out the Protheans 50,000 years ago. Think about what he just said. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. Huh. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are... Wow. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. <laughs> Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. Because he's a sentient we being. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Oh, Before man. us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are are the end of everything. Remember what uh, Liar was telling us about earlier? About the cycle? About how she found out that it wasn't just the Protheans, but other civilizations had been completely wiped out? That there was a cycle of extinction? That's what Sovereign's referring to. He's saying the Reapers are responsible for those cycles of extinction. Wiping out those civilizations, including the Protheans. Man, <laughs> and it, it does. You know, it's not completely. You know, she says it's impossible. I think. Look, he's a, he's a he's an a sentient being, an artificial intelligence, a giant mechanical ship. Who's to say he couldn't exist for that many years? But we don't stand alone in this. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. They just don't know he exists yet. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The one Liara mentioned. The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. Why? The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. They, the Reapers made the Citadel and the Mass Relays. The fact that he says it, that it's happened more times than we can fathom, that's pretty scary to think about. I don't understand, though. Why would you let them, let them find those creations of yours? Why would you construct the Mass Relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the Mass Relays. Our technology... By using it, your society develops along the path as we desire. Develops as we desire? What is that? We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Huh. It just makes you wonder, though, why? Why would they let have us develop to the apex of our 
civilization and then wipe us out. Why would you do that? Why would, do you do this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Huh. Are there more of you? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. Oh the time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. Oh, no. You cannot escape your doom. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world? That sounds like a lot. And if they're all as big as he is, remember how big he was at the beginning of the game? But who created... You couldn't have just become, you know, create yourself. I mean, maybe you could have created yourselves, but who would have created the first? Who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. I don't believe that for we a second. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. They had to have had a beginning. Well, no matter what, we will. I will find a way to stop you. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, this guy's powerful. Commander, we got trouble. What's up, Joker? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Oh man. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Oh boy. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? We're done here. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. So there you go. One of the most pivotal, epic conversations in video game history. At least in my humble opinion.